Hello Libra, any energy here with your weekly tarot message? If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate that. Please share with a friend if you think that they would enjoy my content. Now I'm going to be pulling out our earth, air, fire, and water energy from the dreams of Gaia deck. Now coming out in our stability, our earth energy, we have the king of cups, the throne of movement. In our air energy, our community, we have the nine of pentacles, self-sufficiency, Venus in Virgo. All right, in our, I love this, in our passions, our fire energy, we have the ace of swords. And in our emotions, our water energy, we have the high priestess. This is cancer, cancerian energy, moon energy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and clarify with the Rider Waite Smith deck. Now keep in mind that this reading may not resonate for every Libra out there. I do signs for, or I do readings for all of the 12 zodiac signs. So definitely check out any of the other any of your other placements that really resonate for you. Alright, let's clarify this King of Cups spirit. Clarifying the King of Cups for Lisa. Alright, did it give us two? Yes, it did. So we have the King of Pentacles coming out and the Queen of Wands. So Libra, I really do see you in a very secure state stable energy this week, really being able to move forward, um, and in this really beautiful energy, I love the King of Cups energy because it's just, you know, it's not void of emotion, but it's almost, it's being detached enough from your emotion to make the hard choices, but it's still love, it's, it's kind of tough love here. But with the King of Pentacles, I see that we have abundance. So definitely a week to be abundant, share abundance. And with this Queen of Wands, you know, we are a warm, loving, creative. Um, so let's, let, I'm excited to jump into the rest of this reading. Um, because it's really coming off strong here. So now in our community, we're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. This is Venus in Virgo. This is self-sufficiency. Um, and we do have also the Eight of Wands coming out in reverse. So I am seeing sort of a really a need to go within this week, Libra. I'm just going to say that. The Eight of Wands in reverse to me as a reader is a warning. It's it's kind of saying, hey, quit ignoring the things that you need to take action on. Quit ignoring that. It's, you know, the magician coming up in reverse. I feel like this is you claiming your magic, claiming what is inside of you, this magician inside of you and just taking action. Okay, so yes, we have the Ace of Swords coming out in our passions here, our fire energy. So, Libra, I do feel like this is the third reading that this Ace of Swords has come out for me, so definitely check out your other placements. Um, but I feel like this is a lot of potential here. This is, you know, the roots of action. This is that, that idea that starts it all. And I feel like 
what this is, this revelation really coming to light this week is just your need to release toxicity here and release these people because I feel like you may have young people around you or you know people that just maybe act a bit immature but I feel like you know there's a need to address this imbalance this you know I want to say this person showing up in your life but this could be like a person who's like not even showing up in your life so you really shouldn't be letting their energy affect you like I feel like they may be sort of you know, just not I don't yeah I feel like this is really you sort of releasing small minded people or people who just don't have anything to offer you and then emotionally we're coming out with water energy again, moon and cancer, the high priestess. This is a very sexy energy. I do see you here, Libra, this week in a very appealing energy. Emotionally, I, I feel like we are feeling good. We're feeling ourselves. We got the nine of pentacles coming out to clarify. So we do have everything we need in our environment. Um... And we have judgment coming out. So I feel like, I feel like we're, you know, everything's sort of aligning for us. Like the way we see ourselves is how other people are seeing us. We have good judgment, good judge of character. That's probably why we're able to see, you know, the people who are holding us back or the people who just really aren't giving enough. They're not like paying the price of admission to be in your life and... They need to do that. So, but I really see you being able to act from this place of tough love to really be able to say what you need to say and have it come from a place of love. We are a warm, loving, creative here. But also the Queen of Wands, you know, she's been burned. So she also is going to protect herself and her creativity and her magic. And I feel like there is a call for you to do that this week, Libra. I do feel like we may have been not taking action on something that we really do need to take action on. This Ace of Swords is, I feel like, going to come in. I feel like this is some sort of information or just like, just this epiphany, just this moment where we're just like, okay, it's done. I'm doing it right now. No more fucking around. So yeah, really great energy overall, Libra. So powerful, so beautiful in your world. Our message from Spirit is morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Yes, 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 Libra. I'm feeling this so hard for you. You really need to incorporate your magic into your daily routine. It's, it's here. It's in the cards. You are magical here with the queen of wands coming out and the high priestess like i mean you're definitely a witch libra <laughs> i mean and again this may not resonate for every libra out there check out your other placements if not um but wow this this reading here is for someone who's really really needing to to take some time with that magical person inside and uh, I love it, Libra. Just remember that you do have everything that you need. So um, be loving, be generous, most importantly with yourself. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Libra, I am going to go live at some time this week. Um, I'll probably do an announcement of some sort for that. But um, I'm going to start going live on Instagram weekly to just see if anybody has any extra, any questions, if the reading did resonate for you or if it didn't, that will be your chance to ask any follow-up questions. So definitely make sure you are um, following me on Instagram. That information as well, if you would like to book a personal with me, all of that is always in the description of all of the videos. So um, 
yeah, I'll leave it there. I hope you have a wonderful week, Libra. I love you. Take care.